Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Um, welcome to my channel if you're new, if you're not, thanks a lot for watching again, thanks for following um, every video that I've posted so far, I really really appreciate it. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe down below and um, like the video or comment and check out my other videos, that would mean the world to me. So in this video I decided to talk about a topic that a lot of you uh, privately messaged me and asked me to go into details on um, how my experience has been uh, because if you haven't checked my other video which was about it was a vlog style video about me sharing my experience in a career fair and me uh, talking to different aerospace uh, companies recruiters and um, I've received a few uh, questions about asking me to talk about my experience how it went so I've decided to make this video if you haven't checked the other vlog that I posted I will make sure to link it somewhere um, so make sure to check it out and um, yeah let's just get started with this video okay so first of all sorry guys um, I know I've been I haven't I haven't been able to upload a new video um, in the last couple weeks because I've been really really busy with school but besides the fact um, uh, to continue on the vlog uh, that I posted a couple weeks ago, uh, I said that I had a few um, kind of interviews with different aerospace companies and um, I also said that they went really well and uh, that's true, um, everything was perfect. I really enjoyed my time during the career fair and uh, right now I'm just gonna basically, from my own experience, um, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to land an internship pretty much because we all know that it's better to get an internship I'm talking about the engineering field here it's better to get an internship during your like before you graduate your senior year that way it makes the transition once you graduate it makes the transition really smooth uh, because I find it that when you're an intern you're they teach you all their ways the company teaches you how they do things and uh, they uh, invest all this time and all this money on you and uh, it wouldn't make sense unless you you do a terrible job which I'm sure you I mean we're all engineers I'm sure you're gonna be just okay um, they it wouldn't really make sense for them to hire someone else for an entry position if they have an intern who's about to graduate so what they do is that as soon as you graduate they would offer you a full-time position pretty much okay so I've wrote down some notes on um, how it went I'm kind of gonna start from the application process and give you some tips on what I did personally again this is this is what worked for me this might not be the general like kind of cookie cutter uh, process that you have to follow but I'm just gonna Put it out there and say this is what I did and it worked for me and you could try it too and hopefully it works for you too okay so the first thing that you do of course is you apply online um, I've done that so many times and you have to make sure that your resume is complete by complete I mean uh, you tailor your resume to the position you're applying to I know it sounds like a lot of work but it's better because their algorithm works based on keywords and it's you have to basically play the system <laughs> you have to play the game and uh, put the keywords in your um, resume so that it ranks your resume higher I would make sure you tailor your resume to the position you're applying to and um, as I said earlier if you haven't gotten a chance to check out my vlog I did go over detailed uh, everything that I have in my resume how I structured them and why I structured them the way I did so please make sure to go over to that video and check out my resume if you're unsure um, about how you would write a resume and that's okay um, it's taken me like it took me a while before I had a complete resume I'm not saying mine is perfect but I feel like it's as, as good as it's gonna get for now um, and uh, I feel more uh, satisfied with my resume right now than I did last semester for example so do not like worry too much don't think that oh my resume is so empty you have to fill it up as you go um, so just make sure it's updated the recent like it's as recent as it can get make sure that you avoid little mistakes because um, when you write something it's really easy to overlook things so uh, you might have little mistakes here and there and you don't really want the recruiter or the HR person whoever looking at your uh, resume to think that you're not detail oriented person or you pay attention to these kind of details so have someone else proofread it have more than one person proofread it go to the resume uh, workshops that they have at your school I think th this might 
this might sound like it's a waste of time but they're kind of helpful especially if you're kind of on a time crunch and you're trying to get a job so make sure you have someone proofread it and another thing um, I've been asked this a lot I know that some of the positions the internships that, that are posted on aerospace companies specifically or other engineering companies um, they have some kind of like a minimum GPA I would say do not worry about that too much. Uh, I mean, you have to work to get your GPA at least at 3.0, uh, but some of them, yeah, most of them are actually 3.0 GPA. Um, some of them ask for a 3.5, but I don't think they expect exactly 3.5. Like if you're at 3.3, 3.35, it doesn't really make a difference but um, include your GPA in your resume because you're student you have to have your GPA there it doesn't really matter how bad it is or um, just include it there and you can of course prove yourself in other ways because I mean it's hard it's engineering school is not easy sometimes you just fall off one semester and then it ruins your GPA um, so you can always they, they would give you a chance to explain why your GPA is not what they expect and just as, as long as you have an explanation for that, um, it's all good. You're going to be fine. So don't stress too much about your GPA for now. So um, another thing that I would like to talk to you guys about is um, applying online. I know that it's a hassle because me personally, to the companies that I'm interested in, I have a perfect GPA in my opinion and I also have enough kind of experience I had an internship and I also uh, had enough uh, kind of uh, academic projects but I still never heard back from people just applying online because honestly I feel like they don't some not all companies some companies do not check their system and they have like thousands of resumes coming in and sometimes the system the algorithm might kind of weed you out when you don't need to be weeded out for a certain position so I would think that whenever your school has uh, some kind of event for a company sometimes companies would would uh, hold uh, like Kind of a info info sessions i would say go to it because that's how i got my internship honestly i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't apply i did apply online but that was afterwards um go to those info sessions because sometimes you have engineers there you have recruiters um they like talking about their company um and what they do kind of inform the students uh and they want the best students I guess so what they do is that they what, what happened to me specifically is that I got an email literally like 10 minutes before I finished class and uh, I checked my email and I'm like oh I'm kind of tired I don't want to go because it was kind of late but then I'm like oh, I'm just gonna go for the sake of it I don't know I oh, was sorry that kind of shook and um, I went and I was able to speak to, to people there and I talked to them about my experience. I started kind of small talk and at the end I was able to basically give them my resume and be like, hey, I mean, I've applied to your company and it's been so long, I've never really heard from you guys. So can you please look at my resume? Let me know what I need to change or like what you think uh, would be best. Uh, kind of like asking for suggestions. Uh, try to be nice, don't be rude, just be friendly. And um, they, most likely they would be like, yeah, let me see what your resume looks like. And I gave it to a recruiter, he looked at it and he was like, wow, this is a really good resume. Um, I don't know, they really don't know how the system works. So sometimes it just does not get to them. It's not like they're ignoring you, it just doesn't get there. And yeah, next day, they told me to come by um, to the career fair next day and talk to them, which I did. And that's how it worked out. I ended up getting the job and it was great. So if you can, if you have those kind of things, do not miss out on them. Have a perfect resume tailored, make sure there's no mistakes and go there, listen to what they have to say. And then afterwards, talk to someone, be like, hey, just small talk kind of approach them introduce yourself and that's it it's not hard it's really easy and also if you do not have the opportunity to go to those kind of sessions LinkedIn LinkedIn is really really important uh, recruiters use LinkedIn all the time they're always looking for people send an email not an email but a LinkedIn message um, introduce yourself say what you do talk a little bit about uh, your academic projects and send me a resume and say hey I'm looking for an internship if you're uh, interested please let me know and most of the time it works that's like the most direct way you can give them your resume and yeah finally I would definitely recommend going to career fairs um, I feel like career fairs are a great opportunity to basically speak to the recruiter right away without having this system or this computer in front of you um, but you also have to be prepared for the career fair of course uh, make sure that you have um, a good resume be prepared to talk to to the 
the recruiter about what you have on your resume because most of the time you have like five to I don't know six minutes to speak with them um, so just point out the important stuff because they look at your resume and they've been looking at so many resumes uh, the formatting is different so they keep like looking even though it's right there basically point out your GPA point out uh, what kind of uh, coding languages you know uh, point out your experiences if you have an internship point out your projects and uh, they might ask you questions about it and be prepared to summarize what we what you did in less than 10 seconds I guess um, and yeah just be I don't know be nice and just um, talk to them be friendly um, if you think they were really interested in you ask for their cards for their business cards or um, ask them what kind of advice they would give you uh, in order for you, like what advice they would give you for your resume like what you're missing ask questions about the positions they have um, just the, what I'm trying to say is that make sure you leave a good impression yeah okay so the second section of this whole thing is of course the interview let's say you've done the application you've talked to a recruiter or everything went well uh, in my case um, everything went pretty fast because it was a career fair. I talked with the recruiter. They liked my resume. They called me the same day and they were like, hey, are you available for an on-campus um, interview? And of course, this is another of the perks of having a career fair school, even though that means it just means everything goes smoothly and faster. Um, and yeah, uh, I had the interview. I had a few interviews with different companies because I went to talk to different companies. And so the next day I went to the interview. So I'm not, I mean, it's obvious that you have to dress professionally, uh, groom yourself, uh, just look as professional as you can. Um, I pretty much just wore like a blouse and a skirt. Was it a dress? I can't remember or something like that, a dress. Wait. Wait, yeah, I think it was a dress, but that's beside the point. Um, and yeah, just look professional. Um, I try to hide my tattoo. I don't think most most companies care about tattoos anymore, but you, you're never safe. Just wear something to hide your tattoo because you never know if they're going to have a problem with it or not. Most of the time they don't, but just to be safe. I get there. Um, I make sure that I make eye contact. At all times it's not good to keep like looking around all the time like make eye contact for one second and look around um, it's better to make eye contact contact with people like smile not not awkwardly just like half kind of smile and um, uh, pay attention to your body language I feel like body language does matter um, it, it shows them if you're excited about the job if you um, I don't know it just it just gives up a lot and I feel like they're trained to pick up on those cues um, so just be as friendly as possible because uh, by the time I had my uh, interview for JPL and Orbital ATK it was already the afternoon so the recruiter and the other engineer who, who uh, uh, interviewed me were really tired so I just made sure to be as friendly as possible and kind of make it easy for them because I knew they were really exhausted and yeah, just be nice and be polite and make eye contact, that's really important. Um, another thing I would add, do not assume that they know who you are. Um, just introduce yourself real quick. Hi, my name is this, I'm here to do this. Um, I am an engineering student and um, looking forward to this interview. Something like that, really quick. Uh, because as I said, they go through so many people and there's really no way they're gonna remember who you were. So it would be nice to kind of refresh their memory. Uh, for example, like when I saw them, like, oh, I remember seeing you yesterday, what was your name? Introduce yourself and just give them like a little introduction about you and uh, what you do. And um, one important thing, um, again, is be prepared to talk about your resume. Honestly, they asked me what was my GPA. Um, she asked if my GPA was higher than 3.5 and I said yes. <clears throat> they just moved on, they never talked about it anymore. So all they asked about is my um, internship experience, which you don't necessarily have to have. They do understand that you're a student and they talked a lot about my uh, programming language skills and also mainly on my uh, uh, projects, academic projects, like all my capstone design class, my other projects that I've done in other classes. So just make sure to include as many projects, engineering projects you've done and be prepared to talk about them. Uh, for example, everyone is interested in my capstone design class, uh, my NASA Rascal, Deep Space, Deep, that's a long one, Crude 
deep space uh, Mars uh, mission, uh, which I'm still currently working on, but nevertheless, you could still include it in your on your resume and be prepared to talk about it like give your ideas be hey like yeah i'm really excited about it um this is what we're, we've been doing so far uh these are some of my ideas i'm thinking about making the like these are architectures that i have in mind even though you haven't finished it yet you're still working on it you still have to talk about it and just show that you're um thinking about it you're a good system engineer you know and um yeah um so for my personal interview um, except for JPL, everything was kind of like about my, my personality and like how I work with teams. Um, JPL was the only one that asked kind of uh, technical questions. They weren't really too hard, it was just basic structures and uh, like kind of thermodynamics questions. But uh, most of the time you, they would just ask you um, kind of like, oh, tell me about a time when you were in a team and uh, you've had an argument with someone, how did you resolve it and what was the argument about, something like that. Um, I did speak about my own experience. I told them about the argument that I had with my other um, in last semester's uh, my aerospace structures class and how I resolved that issue. And um, yeah, you basically try not to look like. Don't tell them. Yeah, I was the one like who did this. Like, <laughs> how would I explain that? It sounds stupid. But what I mean is that don't don't look don't make them think that you're confrontational. Uh, think like make sure that you tell them that you resolved the issue by talking to the person and and uh, talking to your teammates and uh, deciding on this deciding on that it doesn't necessarily have to be that you won the argument but just make sure that you show them that you're <clears throat> able to work with the team and not create uh, kind of a tension between you and your teammates because an argument is not necessarily bad um, what's bad is the way uh, you would resolve it there's a really there's really two ways you can resolve it. You either be like, no, we're gonna go with what I said, or you're gonna be like, hey, I understand, but, but you know, but this is what I'm thinking about what you want to do, like what what is your plan for the future. Uh, personally, I told him that I wasn't really sure, <clears throat> and of course, that's okay. It's okay not to know exactly what you want to do because aerospace might sound like a small kind of field, but there's so much stuff you could do in that specific field. Like you can be in GNC, like guidance, navigation, control. Uh, you can be in propulsion. Uh, you can be the systems engineer where you just touch on everything. There was so much you could do and uh, it's okay if you don't really know exactly what you want. Um, I basically just told him that um, I tried the software side of aerospace and I wasn't, I don't think that's what I want to do. I learned a lot from it. I learned so many programming languages, but then I got bored really quickly and I told him that I'm really open to um, other things, you know, because I'm still a student. Sometimes you don't know you like something until you try it. Um, so basically that's what I told him. I was like, I'm but mainly I'm interested in um, launch systems and, and space systems specifically and yeah it's it, don't feel like you have to have everything figured out you can be unsure about what you want to do and that's okay as long as you explain why you are unsure about what you want to do and show them that you're open to uh, tr basically trying a lot of things and I think that's a great um, it's it's a great thing to have all right that is pretty much it guys um, I can't really think of anything else that I could tell you guys um, again this was from my own experience this worked for me because I was able to land an internship with mon one of my favorite and kind of dream companies and um, this is my recipe I'm not saying it's gonna apply to you I'm not saying that you should follow it by T I know that different companies do things differently and um, different students have different skills and my, what I say might not apply to you necessarily but I would be really happy to answer any questions so please make sure to leave comments or even message me if possible and I will be more than happy to answer them for you um, and yeah if you're not subscribed please make sure to subscribe share a like and comment on the video and I will see you in the next one bye